So there we go, the second semi-final. Gary Ellis. Not got the block at the moment. <laughs> and away we go. You just pan round and see how that first. And it's a great start by Graham Wilson. You'll have to edit this. I'm not very good on this, I'm afraid. Oh, here's the markers going on for the second end. Callum Wright. One to Wright. Turning back now to first end of Graham Wilson and Ellis. <laughs> Ellis striking. Hitting. And interestingly, leaving the block on. And I honestly can't say whether he's left himself or no. One to Wilson at the first end. I'm fed up away. You, yeah, there it is. Fed up away to for what? Can't say. Oh, sorry. G.I. <laughs> Wilson. Playing towards us here. Played a bowl, finished nine inches to the side and slightly beyond the jack. You do. Hiya. Alright, no? Yeah, see you. So bad. Alice coming up. Licks it. Just goes out. Finds the gap, just goes out. Wilson just waiting for ball to pass him. Playing finger peg. Big sweeping round peg mark. Just finishing a yard short. Wilson won at the moment. Ellis staying on finger peg. Giving us plenty to do. Half a chance. Very good chance. Goes in. Wilson and Ellis playing thumb peg to the school road corner. That ball looks to have just gone out. Ellis is on. Ellis looks to be about 15 to 18 inches short. Staying thumb peg, hoping to have put a few inches in this. Looks a little tight to me from here. Ah, oh, it is, short and tight. So, chance now for Wilson. Wilson looks to be on a good road. Can it get round the back? Looks like it's half a chance. Mm, difficult to say. Mm. May have just gone out. One. Ellis just gone out. That front ball probably a little bit closer than I first thought. Right, leading off. <laughs> Playing finger peg across the middle of the green towards the school road side. Oops, sorry. You'll have to edit it. And he's played a reasonable bowl. More than reasonable. Excellent bowl. Copeland. Left hander Copeland. To be slightly low, just misses. An excellent effort, just finishes 15, 18 inches past the jack. Callum Wright doesn't like it, thinks he may have hit the jack. Nope, he's just played pass, makes two. Copeland looks to be on a good road, might go tight, might have gone tight. Can it save? No. Two to eight. 
There we go, Wilson. With the jack. Playing finger peg towards the doors. Got to be careful here. Easy to slide a little bit too far back. These guys obviously know that. He's played a good bowl level to within about 9 to 10 inches. Ellis. Showing interest. Is he there? Looks as though it may just finish short. Yeah, just peg short. Maybe a yard short. Wilson. Looks a little bit tight to me. But is it tight enough for two? They're signalling two. Terence Bebbington signalling two. <laughs> And Terence is right, it is two. Ellis, strike him. Clipped one bowl. Okay, we rejoined the games. Thanks very much to Paul Wally there for that uh, poor little bit of film. A few minutes he, uh, he did for me there while I just popped to the bar. We'll have a look at um, the scores in a minute or two. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Steve Copeland here with an excellent lead ball. I'll just keep the camera there whilst the cannon's ball comes in. But he's uh, just going to be slightly short, I think. Yes, he is. Slightly short. The crowd is up. the sides on. They're not a bit short to me, Paul. Coming, see? That's not that. He's on. That's not that. Slightly in the way, isn't it? There's uh, Callum's second. But he's up. What's he hit? Wrong one. Is it the wrong one, unfortunately? One to Steve Popper. Just measuring now at the other end. Graham Wilson. Gary Ellis. What a game that is. That's a pairing, alright, Paul? Very good pair, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's certainly a pairing. Number one and number two in the game. Yeah. Number one and number two in the game. Yeah, you're quite right. There's uh, Gary falling up the side of the green. So what are you looking for? I'm going to do that's good bowling. <laughs> Well, Carrie likes this one. Yeah, I think it's two, I don't think it's two. I think it's just the one, yeah, it's second one. And this grabs second. Well, it's not real. That's it. Well, but a good ball. That's a good ball, leaves himself one, I think. Does Graham Wilson? Just thinking about what he's doing here. Graham Wilson. All down the middle of the green. Just uh, probably about 25, 30 yards. Does he, does he, is he a married man? I don't think he is. Oh, right. Well, yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Just about 12 inches short. We don't think he's married. Well, well. Stop the rice. Very well, some second. Oh, what a good ball. Absolute cracker. What a superb ball. Oh. 
I just wind this one up. Four flicks with a gap. Good effort there from uh, Gary Ellis. But it goes straight through the gap. Well, that's the way to do it. Just kills the end there, does Gary Ellis. Absolutely unbelievable, Keith. I make mean, Keith itching next to me now and uh, just shaking his head at the accuracy there of, uh, of Gary Ellis. And that's the difference between uh, winners and losers, of course. They use every every single weapon in their armory to win a game to these lads. Absolutely incredible. Right. Graham's just dead length, absolute dead length. Twelve inches at the side. There's uh, Gary Alice's. And he's got a mile away. Now that could have gone in at the back. All the lads are saying it's gone out there. Well, this looks a good ball. That is a good ball. Well, what is Gary thinking at this minute? Shall I turn over and go the other way with a bit of weight? Shall I try to beat it? A million things going through his mind. Nice. Nominated to have a go at him. Well, he hits the end. Goodness me. There's the jack going up in the corner. Absolutely smashed them to bits. The balls are sprayed over the green and the jack goes off in the far corner case. <laughs> so, uh, Gary, uh, Gary Ellis, now 8-6 up on Graham Wilson. We're 18 across now. Steve Copeland and uh, Callum Wright. Callum's just uh, rolled across the green there about mm, 12 inches. Well, we've got the back one. Looks of ours, just at the back of the, uh, the jack there. The Callum Wright's this one, he's running it in. Ooh. I don't know if it's uh, won it. Steve's ladders go. There we go. It's on the road. Oh dear, what's that done? Has it changed anything? Can I split one up? Just one. Yeah. Good effort from Steve Bobble and all there, Keith. Certainly up into the end, giving it a chance. Then there's some. So the ball now, down towards uh, the kitchen window. Oh, what a good lead. What an absolute good lead, Kate. Good bowling. We're now discovering why Graham Wilson and Gary Atlas are number one and two in bowling. So uh, just slightly short there from Gary. Here's uh, Graham's second. He's there again. He's there again. Well, what's Gary going to do? He's going to have a go. Here's. Yes. 
Well, yeah, it's there anyway. Two for Graham Wilson. Gets his own ball, does Gary. Dallas 11, Wilson 10. That's a good close game. Portland and Ray, 19 across. I did, I cheated away on the green. Oh, wet. Another good ball from Steve Copeland. That's a good ball, Keith, isn't it? Consistently, you know, they're consistently there, aren't they? They just go out there. Yeah. Unusual for Callum. Short there. Well, that's another good ball. What makes you think Callum's going to have a go here, Keith? I suspect he's going to put some weight in. Goodness me. You wouldn't be back to shot those, would you? You wouldn't. Did you like it? Yeah. They send me in three in the morning, three in the afternoon. You know, they've got a feel, haven't they? Steve Copeland puts another one on the card. Makes you wonder what the speed of those uh, balls are that Callum Wright sends when he's firing Keith. Must be a colossal speed, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. What an end. I must put the camera on this. Just incredible. <laughs> Dear me. Graham Wilson's lead. Absolutely fantastic. And um, <laughs> Graham Wilson must be dismayed. How can you bowl a lead ball like that and end up two down? <laughs> All in your belief. Oh, it's going to ball across to uh, school road side of the green. Gary decides to change the pace and the, the length. That's incredible. You know, changes the length, changes the pace and balls the front door tricky. Well, there's Graham. Oh dear me. Seems unbelievable, this bowling does. How can he have such a judgment? Incredible. I guess he's under good luck here. He's looking at what he can do about this. What do you do? Fires the angle up. Looks how far the balls are away. Looks at the options. Thinks about it. If Paul wins in the next Olympics, I think we're looking at gold and silver here. <laughs> yeah. Is this a Champions or Champions yeah. qualifying? Really? I don't know, to be honest. Strike. Yeah, he decides to have a go. I think you're right there, Keith. I think we've certainly got a gold and silver with these lads. We misses. And what does uh, Graham do? What's he going to do? What do you do when you're a top class bowler? Do you bowl for two? Oh dear, and he gets two. That is absolutely fantastic. I just cannot be believe that people can be so accurate as the judgment be. Incredibly. Just going to be a leaf. How do you measure them that close? Anybody got a cigarette paper? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, lovely to see them both smiling there. And uh, both enjoying the game. 
instead of some of the stuff we see in other sports. Nice to see the lads uh, acknowledging each other's balls and enjoying it. Really good to see. Hey Billy. Billy, you know that Billy's 80, 86, Keith. Will he, will he get up from this, do you think? Oh, Billy. Billy Ravenscraft? He'll be 87 before he does, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, his age is incredibly fit. Remarkable man, Bill Ravenscroft. For his age. Bill Wilson once. I can never understand why they took bowling off TV, Keith. When you can see such precision bowling as that. What they should do is choose the greens then, Tony, when they do uh, televised bowling. Make it more entertaining, eh? You would, yeah. There's such a lot of people do bowl. Oh, he's on this way. Hello in there, just passes us. Come to watch from Stoke and Trent. Bill and his family. On the next bench here. Nice to see Phil supported the event. Took part in it in the area rounds, of course. And uh, lovely to see him supporting it. And Wilson misses there, fires at the, uh, the end and uh, misses. Meanwhile in the background, Callum Rake hits the balls and they've got everywhere. Tommy Johnson jumps six foot in the air <laughs> for the amusement of the crowd. <laughs> you needed three goalkeepers then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should think by the time Tommy gets home tonight, he'd be a nervous wreck. <laughs> Wait, as we rejoin the games, Callum Wright is just off the green. I mean, uh, won his game, 31-23. The Steve Copeland and the green still, of course, are uh, Gary Ellis and Graham Wilson. Oh, what a good ball. Goodness me, Keith. We're back to quality again. Oh, Gary likes this one. Oh, dear me. Precision. Like watching engineers, Keith. This is. Not watching engineers, really, is engineers of bowling. So that be super. Got it. Oh dear me! Oh. Tip for tap, absolute class bowling, incredible. So nice to have have the green graced with such bowlers. <laughs> <laughs> If you had a crown on it, you wouldn't be able to do that, Barry. No. <laughs> well, no. That's fine. No, well, what, what, what guns? It hasn't got a crown, Tony, that's what you're I say it certainly hasn't got a crown degree, has it? So 21-16 at the moment. And the game's nice. 